Hi, I'm James Johnson. Uh, you may know me as Mad Ninja Skills. I'm here to uh, give you a guide through setting up the upload system for Easy Muse. Some people have been having some problems, so I thought I would talk you through it. Now, the main thing you need to know is that your gamer tag has to be the same on your Xbox and on Easy Muse Central. And the best way of doing this, which is how I did it, just go to xbox.com log in like you normally would and copy and paste so we'll go and do that now so here we've already signed in automatically if not just follow through their sign in so we just copy that go here go to your account edit your profile and paste it in. Make sure there's no space after it as well. Sometimes that happen. Also worth checking there's no spaces before it. Once you've done that, just save. Come to your upload settings. And we have your upload settings. Once you've got your settings, you need to go to your Easy Muse press the back button to bring up the menu and go to your network manager once here you scroll down go to the user ID and here you type in a number very similar to this one we'll probably start with a bunch of zeros same as the user ID on the site you save that and then you need to go down to the auth code your code will look like this. Nice short code. As you see, those are the same. And once you hit save, your code will be accepted. And your batteries will run out on your pad. You can see here, it doesn't complain about the... Um, Auth code, it just says please wait, and that's because there is someone currently using it. Um, sometimes we have one server online, sometimes we have two, um, but at most two people at once can be using the system um, until we get some more Xboxes. So you just have to be patient uh, and wait for that to not stay busy. And that's it, that's all there is to it. As long as you make sure that your um, username and password, well, your Xbox, if you make sure your Xbox gamer tag is the same on your Xbox and you, the Easy Me Central site, which is best done through using xbox.com to copy and paste it, and then you make sure you get the user ID and the auth code the same between the site and the Xbox, shouldn't have any problems. Good luck.